Minnesota Current, we're gonna dive into all the little bits and pieces that make Wu's bike really unique. We're gonna stop over at Good Art, check out all the pieces we've remastered into sterling silver with him, see his process. We're really close to getting this bike done. All right, cool. So we just put pulled. <laughs> so we just pulled up to Good Art Hollywood. We're here at Good Art Hollywood to visit Josh to check out some of the final touches and pieces he made for the bike. So let's go inside and check it out. This part here, this is all very subtractive work. You're kind of you're taking away the, the, the bits that don't belong. Yeah. You're like looking for the. The David in the marble. Oh, yeah. See how quickly that sort of comes into being? Yep. So don't take off too much. You yeah. just kind of You just kind of graze it, it. That's right. It's rad, though, right, as it starts to take yeah. shape? OK, so where we are Perfect. now is we've gotten the pieces. Um, we've got the pieces capped. So, so this, is, uh, this is sanded and prepped for polishing. So polishing. So you get to see how it looks kind of like industrial and rough and yeah. like all scratched up, but but still beautiful. So this is where all those rough marks, yeah. they're sort of like, they're all in random directions and the, the, the yeah. molecules are all sticking up in all these different angles. And here you've got this wheel turning really fast with a wax on the, the little fibers, the cotton fibers, and the yeah, wax it on like, the wheel. It's got ceramic and, and glass in it on the wheel. Yeah. And really all you're doing is on a gradient level, just make it smooth, yeah. make it smooth. And then the final bits, it's like, can you see yourself, you know? Amazing, right? The wax is real sort of uh, tacky and sticky on the metal. And so we use super hot water, soap, and those devices, they're called ultrasonic cleaners. What it is is that it sends sound waves through the metal, and the sound waves shake everything. And anything that is dissimilar, the grime and the dirt, it shakes it right off of the silver. And then what's after that? Or what, what gets us to the final product? We polish up to a certain point where we've got the whole piece real nice and clean. Then we yeah. boil it in sulfur mm -hmm. and uh, apply an antiquing. It's an old technique that we use where uh, the sulfur puts the tarnish on the metal mm -hmm. the way the sulfur in the air would put that tarnish on the metal but uh, it happens in an instant you get this really deep dark black piece and then the final buff is removing the highlights so everything that that is on the surface all those nice smooth surfaces they get shiny and they get uh, bright sterling silver color that you're looking for but yeah. in the cracks and crevices that uh antiquing stays and that's, the, that's how we get that depth of field so these have been boiled in sulfur yeah when that goes in here, they'll so go back to polishing again. Like a lightweight kind of polish. Yep. Uh, this is where we remove the black. The black will stay down in all the little cracks yeah. and crevices, and the highlights will get polished. Here, watch how it watch how it comes to life. This is really beautiful. Like red, right? Okay, so we've got the pieces now. Cool. Uh, you've seen the process all the way up through the polishing. We've got everything looking very shiny and ready to go. The last step now is uh, we're just gonna clean them in the ultrasonic, make sure that everything, all the, the, the polishing rouge, the, yeah. the wax stuff is gone, cool. and then check the fitment on everything. And once the fitment's good, uh, we're ready to go. So I'm gonna bring these by on Friday. So say goodbye to the factory yep. pieces. <laughs> These are the new ones. And, uh, and the, the perfect jams are coming over in a few days. Awesome, thank you, Josh. Now that we have our final pieces locked in, we can dive into my favorite part, which is the assembly, where we get to see our vision come together and build this bike up for work.